Hey everybody, Linda AK the Gamer Girl here, and me and TechWiz X are going to talk about three beat em ups that we think are awesome. So stick around and enjoy the fun. So for my first, it is going to be Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon was made in 1993. It was developed by Angel. And basically it was a side-scrolling beat-em-up where you had to defeat the Dark Kingdom because they're trying to steal, yet again, more dark energy from humans and them into their own sinister scheme. But the one thing I liked about this game was it was actually physical attacks. Like there was more than just magic and yes, I do love Sailor Moon and the magic in it but I also like the fact that you can kick some butt. So basically with those five Sailor Moons, you could actually play all five Sailor Moon characters. That's what I liked. I like to play Sailor Jupiter or Sailor Mercury. I don't wanna just play Sailor Moon all the time. No offense to Sailor Moon. I do like me some Sailor Moon, but come on. I wanna play the other characters. I also like the fact that the enemies are all from the show. I like the fact that they are, yet again, the same thing that all beat em ups are, is the same enemies, but just different colors. So they stuck to the, you know, genre, but it wasn't so repetitive and so annoying that you didn't want to play it. I played it, I enjoyed it. So now we're going to see what Tech Wiz X has picked for his first. Take it away. Hey guys, this is Tech Wiz X. Thank you, Linda, AKA the Gamer Girl, for inviting me to this collab. What are my three favorite beat-em-ups? Well, my very favorite beat-em-up would have to be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle arcade game, which was produced by Konami in 1989 and later ported over to NES as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. If you're a fan of the animated series, then you are definitely playing this beat-em-up back in those days. From all the colorful, zany characters to the beautiful backgrounds, this was considered one of the best beat-em-ups back in its days, as well as The Simpsons and The X-Men. But for my taste, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Konami was my favorite beat-em-up. And as you can see, I still love these characters to this day. Well, that's one of the very favorite beat-em-ups. What are the other two? Well, I have to give that some more thought. So the next one on my list is going to be Pirates of Dark Waters. This one came out in 1994 and it was based on the TV show exactly like Sailor Moon. But this one had two different versions unlike the other games. This one you could either get the Genesis version which was a platformer or you could get the Super Nintendo which was a beat-em-up. The beat-em-up you also could play as the three main characters not just Ren. You had to basically get all the crystals from all the arenas and all the areas and be able to battle to the final end and get rid of the darkness from the land. But the reason why I liked it so much was the fact that the difficulty level was really good. Like it made you not just go, oh, I beat the game again, but you actually got to, the main characters were not just like, oh, whatever. Like, they all had their different play style, and when you got the enemies, they were all completely different, but yet again, same color. So, I like the fact that you got through, the terrain was different in each one, they took their time on the background, and also I like the fact that there was a superpower that drained your battery, basically. <laughs> your life went down, but if you were in a tight jam, you kind of needed to do what you gotta do. Another thing that I liked the fact was, is you got your favorite parrot. He was a riot, and I loved his one-liners from the show. And he had his one-liners also in the game. So you basically got the best of both worlds. You got your video game and your favorite TV show crammed into one. So let's see what TechWiz X's second pick. My second favorite video game beat-em-up has to be Battletoads. Developed by Rare and published by Trade West, Battletoads was a great game in the arcade. It was even better once it came to the home consoles, starting with the NES. 20 something years later, we finally got an updated version now on the Xbox One and is also the Steam. And it looks great with the amazing updated graphics and playability. This is one game I look forward to playing very soon. So oh, for my final one, it is going to be Dungeons and Dragons Shadow Over Mysteria. I hope I'm saying the name correctly, but this one is basically from Dungeons and Dragons. I recently played this on my RetroPie and I was 
astounded by how great it was. It was for the arcade in like the 1990s area. I believe it was 1996 that it came out. And for this one, I like the fact that it does tie into Dungeons and Dragons just like the other two. And the fact that you can change is another thing that I liked about it in Midway. It not only could you pick your favorite character, but say you die, which was a quarter guzzler basically, it just ate quarters all the time, and you could go from cleric to fighter to elf, whatever you wanted to do, you were one of the main four or five characters from the original storyline of a Dungeons and Dragons, and you basically were battling all the way to the end and defeating the evil woman who is a dragon at the very end, and that dragon kicked my butt. I'm just telling you right now, that took so much magic, so much, and what really was sketchy at the very end is you didn't see a life bar for like a good two minutes, three minutes. So you're battling, you're doing magic, you're fighting, you're jumping over the hand, doing all your thing, and then you see that there's two life bars after the very end, and you're like, oh, I haven't even gotten close to very, like, far at all. Yeah, like, it's one of those things where you're looking at it and you're like, wow, they made the final boss super, super hard. But the beauty of it is that I like the fact that you could change from from elf to cleric to fighter and dwarf and you could be whatever you wanted to be. If you wanted to be a rogue, you can fight and you go through and as you're battling, you can use what they can do to best figure out what to how to work it. So if you were a wizard, you used all your magic up and then you switch to a fighter and you just crunch and crunch and crunch and crunch and take out all as much as you can. The one thing I loved about the animation was when the dragon goes down to bite, the little person goes like, ah! <laughs> for like a few minutes and you have to like flare your little controller to get out of it. Best animation ever out of all of them. <laughs> so that was my third pick for my favorite beat-em-ups. Let's find out what TechWizX's last one and let's go to him now. When you think of Beat em ups, the first two games that come to mind have to be Double Dragon and Streets of Rage. For the NES, Double Dragon was the go to fighting beat em up game that everybody had in their household and it, many hours of enjoyability. If you had a Genesis, you definitely played Streets of Rage. That was a game you had to own in your collection. And thankfully, many years later, we now have a modern version of Streets of Rage called Streets of Rage 4 on all the home console and it's a dream come true. I just wish we had a modern version of Double Dragon that we can say was just as good. Well, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed my collab with Linda aka The Gamer Girl. Until then, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And there you have it everybody. Our favorite beat-em-ups. We picked three. What are your three favorite beat-em-ups? What are some that we didn't pick? You don't have to stick to Super Nintendo and Arcade. You can choose whatever you want to choose. And thank you to TechWizX for being on the channel. I'm going to drop a link in the description for his channel. Go check him out. He's got an awesome retro collection. And not only video games, but also a ton of stuff from the 80s. Little trinkets and stuff like that. So check out his game room. If you like what you see, hit the sub button. Remember, keep on gaming, everybody. Catch you next time. Bye. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games too.